वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ड्रैगन फ्लाई डोजी कैंडल स्टिक पैटर्न विच इज बोथ अ बियरिश एंड अ बुलिश रिवर्सल कैंडल स्टिक पैटर्न अनलाइक द ग्रेव स्टोन डोजी विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट वीडियो सो लेट अस डिस्कस हाउ टू ट्रेड विद दिस कैंडल स्टिक पैटर्न वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द ड्रैगन फ्लाई डोजी कैंडल स्टिक पैटर्न Uh, this is both a bearish and bullish reversal candlestick pattern depending upon whether it has formed after an uptrend or a downtrend that is formed when the open and close prices are near each other with a long lower wick and no or very small upper wick now this is totally the opposite of gravestone doji which we have discussed in the last video here also the opening and closing prices are very close to each other or are equal to each other the only difference between dragonfly doji and the gravestone doji is that the gravestone doji has a long upper wick and a little or no lower wick whereas a dragonfly doji has a long lower wick and little or no upper wick this pattern suggests that bears were doing well during the session however by the end of the session bulls took over and brought the price at or near the place where the price opened point to note is that bulls were not able to bring up the price above the opening price during the whole session however this does not always be true as the price might go a little up than the closing price which implies that a dragonfly doji might have a small upper wick as well so this is the point which supports the theory that a dragonfly doji might have a small upper wick it is not necessary that the opening and closing price should be same the thing is that the opening and closing prices should be very close to each other if not same this has already been told the pattern can occur at the end of a downtrend or an uptrend that is why it was told that it is both a bearish and bullish reversal candlestick pattern depending upon where it is forming it is either bullish or a bearish reversal candlestick pattern now one should not hastily act as soon as this pattern is formed this was told in the uh, case of uh, gravestone doji as well wait for the confirmation of the reversal of the trend by looking at the next candle which is formed and then if the trend has actually reversed take the trade accordingly now some indicators are also there such as rsi macd volume etc separate videos will be shared uh, on these indicators but for now we will not be talking about these indicators we will wholly solely talk about the candlestick patterns only now these indicators they also should be taken into account while making a decision to enter or exit a trade but as of now as i have already told you you should avoid this we will only depend upon the candlestick pattern nothing else now this is the dragonfly doji and this one is the confirmation candle now by confirmation candle what i mean is that since there was a downtrend and then a dragonfly doji has formed now the confirmation means that the prices have started going up so that means the downtrend is ending so that is why this is called a confirmation candle so this is how a dragonfly doji looks like now we will talk about as to how to trade with this candlestick pattern now after spotting this pattern just wait for the price to rise above the high of the candle which precedes the dragonfly doji now if this is the dragonfly doji the preceding candle will be this one so you need to wait till the price breaches the high of the preceding candle once it breaches the price of the preceding candle then you can enter the trade So this is the preceding candle, and we have to take the trade only when the price goes above the high of this preceding candle. Now the stop loss will be the low of the dragonfly doji, as shown here. 
Now do not sell till there is an exit signal. Now since we are not taking the help of any of the indicators, we are wholly solely depending upon the candlestick patterns only. We need to just spot a pattern wherein a reversal is indicated. Now in the above case, after the bearish engulfing pattern is formed, you can exit at the next candle after the engulfing pattern. Now this is the engulfing pattern which has formed. So at the next candle, which is the confirmation candle also, you can exit the trade. Now if you enter a buy trade at 31 and exit it at 36, a profit of 5 per share is earned which is around 16% and my dear friends this is quite a good amount of money. So that was it as to how to trade with a dragonfly doji. Thank you very much.